Break the cos 2x to cos squared x minus sine squared x. So if I do that, I have to write left hand side is equal to cos squared x minus sine squared x. And this is all over cos x minus sine x. Alright? Now, the numerator, it's a difference of two squares. This is a difference of two squares. So I can write that as cos x minus sine x times cos x plus sine x. And that's all over cosine of x minus sine x. Right? Remember you did difference of two squares, that is a squared minus b squared is equal to a minus b times a plus b. Okay, so the same idea, we use it here because it's also a difference of two squares. Now, once you get to this point here, I'm sure you can see that this, this denominator cancels with that. And that will give you the right hand side, which is cos x plus sine x. Which means you can say, therefore, the left, the left hand side is to the right so I use the double angle for cosine, the first one. Remember what I told you that it's better to you to you start with the first one first because the other two they originate from it. All right. Let's try another one. We have China. Which one can I can? can you? Huh? Okay. So let's move on to the next question. Right. E is equal to. Can you stop that? Because I'm recording the lesson. Can you stop that? Sine theta plus. Sine 2 theta. That's all over 1 plus cos theta plus. That's 1 all over 1 plus cos theta plus cos 2 theta. This is equal to the tan theta. Okay? Now, as you can see, the only way you can simplify it by simplifying the left-hand side. So, I can write this as the left-hand side is equal to sine theta plus, now I'm going to convert the double angle for sine to 2 sine theta or sine of theta. Okay? The double angle for, for sine, by now we should know it, should be in your heart now. Right? <laughs> then, then the next thing, then the next thing now, that cos squared, so that cos 2 theta, I'm going to convert it to the first double angle for cos. At the same time, I'm going to convert this one here. This one, two, sine squared theta plus cos squared theta. Okay? So if I do that, I'll get sine squared theta plus cos squared theta plus cos theta, right? Plus cos squared theta minus sine squared theta. Okay? Then you must check if there are some terms that will cancel out. This sine squared and that minus sine squared are going to cancel out. Then this cos squared and that cos squared, we are going to add them. Okay? So if we do that... So I converted the 1 to the grade 11. So from here, I'll get sine theta plus... 2 sine theta times cos theta all over. Since I got this cos theta here, I'm going to write it first. So I write cos theta plus 2 cos squared of theta. And this is interesting. Then my numerator, I've got a common denominator there. Right? So I'll take out the common denominator. So let me carry on here. So I'll have sine theta times 1 plus. 2 
cos theta. Right? My denominator, I've got a common factor, that's cos theta. So this becomes cos theta times 1 plus 2 cos theta. And these two are going to cancel out. And then you let sine theta over cos theta, which gives you tan theta. Okay? So that's equal to the right hand side. And so our left hand side is going to be equal to the left hand side. Yes? Also, for the double angle for cos, is the i is cos, uh, 2 cos greater than theta minus 1. Yeah, it's fine. In, in my case, I prefer to use the mother of the double angle. The reason is because the one that you just told me, it comes from me. But you can use number two or number three, depending on what you prefer. But there are some questions where number one is the best option, or number two is the best option, or number three is the best option. So by practicing, the only way you can get to understand is by practicing. Okay. And then, uh, I think the two costs here the minus one the yeah, it's fine. Okay. Any question? I think yes. I can do one more. Yes, there are. What, what, what's your question? <laughs> well, what's your question? So, the denominator is 2 cos squared theta. You see that there's a common denominator, so the common factor. Yes. It's cos theta. So, I took out the cos theta. This becomes the 1. And then you've left here with the two cos theta. Well, what about so, you add cos Suppose theta. I added cos squared theta and cos squared theta. Yeah. 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 Alright, let's get on. Like the other one. C. Okay, let's do that C. Cos 4. It's called cos 2 alpha. So number C is cos 4 alpha minus sine 4 alpha. That's equal to cos 2 alpha. Okay, it's better to simplify the left hand side. So my left hand side will be equal to now um, it's a difference of two squares, so I write as cos squared alpha minus sine squared alpha times cos squared alpha plus sine squared alpha. It looks scary, but what is this in court? Huh? Equal to one. So we end up having cos squared alpha minus sine squared alpha. All this times one. And what is this expression? Equal to cos two alpha. So the left hand side are you following what I'm doing? Yes. Yeah, I'm applying the double angles. Okay, mainly it is the double angle. And my knowledge of factorization. Now, your knowledge of factorization from grade 9 to 10 is, is required when you are doing this question. Right? Your knowledge of factorization is required. All right, let me tell you. One minus two x over sine minus cos x. One minus two x. So that's d. One minus two. One minus sine two x. 1 minus sine 2x over sine x minus cos x. Let's verify. Let's verify. So I'm sine, sine x minus cos x. Now this one is very easy. This is equal to sine x minus cos x. Right? Since we have a double angle, so we'll say left hand sine will be equal to, well, the best way, you see this one here, I have to convert that to sine squared x plus cos squared x. So I'll get sine squared x plus cos squared x minus 
2 sine x cos x. This is very interesting. And the denominator is sine x minus cos x. Now, your knowledge of factorization here is required. So, what you do, you take this minus 2 sine x cos x, it becomes the second term of the trinomial numerator. And this cos squared x. Now, I would prefer to swap the cos squared, but I'll leave it as this. I'll take this cos squared x to the right hand side to become the third term. I'll swap these two. Because it's a, you have to create a trinomial here. And that trinomial is called a perfect squared trinomial. It's like this. When, when you are factorizing x squared, well, I'll call it yeah, x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. You got x plus y all squared. When you factorize x squared minus 2xy plus y squared, you got x minus y all squared. Right? I'm refreshing you here. That's great. 9, break 10. So that's the same thing here. Right? You treat this sine squared x as, the, as your x. The cos squared x is your y squared. The 2 sine x cos x is your 2xy. Okay? So you get sine squared x minus 2 sine x cos x plus, plus cos squared x. This is all over sine x minus cos x. So my numerator is a perfect square trinomial. I'll get sine x minus cos x times sine x minus cos x. This is all over sine x minus cos x. Then one of these two cancels out with the, the denominator. So you end up having sine x minus cos x, which means I can say therefore the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. And then you are done.